What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob's Reviews here for another review. Today we're taking a look at Qui-Gon Jinn by Hot Toys. And uh, we'll get straight into the review and as you can see is the packaging that he comes in. Um, a pretty standard Star Wars packaging. The black and grey colour scheme with Qui-Gon Jinn on the front there. I like how they've got that uh, little decal on the bottom there, that little strip. Um, it's also got a picture of Qui-Gon on there has the model number, and as you can see on the side there also has a picture of Qui-Gon. Um, it's a decent packaging, pretty standard, like I said, by Hot Toys. Um, and on the back, it's just the standard uh, credits and warnings. Uh, it is a shoebox style packaging, so that is not a slip over cover, like some of the other Star Wars um, boxes. But um, yeah, it's basically for the packaging. What we'll do now is we will go ahead and take all the accessories out of the box so you can see what Qui-Gon comes with. Now I just wanted to show you this um, this little insert that you get uh, when you take the, the cover off. And I really like uh, when they include stuff like this, this artwork. And as you can see there, it's a picture of um, of, of the actual figure, Qui-Gon, and uh, he's obviously fighting Darth Maul there. So a nice little touch by Hot Toys. I really like what they've done with that right there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, remove the accessories. Okay, here are all the accessories that Qui-Gon comes with. I'll start off with the robe that you get. Uh, nice material. It does have wire running through the hood, so you can um, manipulate that, but there is no wire in the sleeves and none along the side here so you're unable to pose the sleeves or the rest of the robe but otherwise pretty cool get a bunch of hands i'm not going to go into full detail with them but they are pretty cool it's always good when they give you interchangeable hands so you can do all those different poses with the figures uh, and that one there, I believe, is to hold his a uh, couple of his accessories. And yeah, you get a whole bunch of them. You get the stand. Pretty basic stand. It's got uh, a little plaque there that says Star Wars, Quite One Jin. Um, and then this nice silver finish on the top. I've still got the plastic on mine, as you can see there. Um, yeah, pretty basic stand. And then you also get the light up lightsaber arm feature, which I haven't got the batteries in, so I can't show you how that works. But nice detail there on the sleeves there. And even the uh, the hilt on the lightsaber, nicely detailed. And you do sorry, and you do get a little bit of movement on the wrist there. But just be careful when you are handling this. You don't want to break the um, this does obviously it doesn't come out um, because it's got all the wires and stuff for the the light feature on the lightsaber. So don't go ahead and try and pull that apart. And then you get the lightsaber loose and again very nicely detailed this green blade does pop off and then you can put the action blade in there as well pretty nice i like the design of this lightsaber very sleek, simple and sleek. Then you get it. Um, you get a com link. So, I'm assuming you can. There you go. You can communicate there. With these fellow. Jedi 
companions. It's a nice, nice little touch there. You get a grappling hook, which I'm not sold on this accessory. It's a bit odd. And then you get the hologram projector. And how this works is, obviously, you get the hologram, chuck it in. There you go. And you get three holograms. They all work the same way. Mace Windu. And you get Yoda as well. So I'll just put it in there. So pretty cool. Then of course you get some spare wrist pegs. And that's basically all the accessories that Qui-Gon comes with. So what we'll do now is we'll take a closer look at him and see how much movement you get with uh, Qui-Gon. Okay, so we're just going to zoom in so you can get a good look at that head sculpt. It's pretty good. You can clearly see the actor there. I do like the sculpted hair as well. I prefer sculpted over rooted, but the only problem with this figure is a little bit of a concern is when you're moving the head that you might damage the material and um, also the other the other thing to that's a little bit of a concern for me is maybe over time uh, if you're in a warm warm conditions maybe a bit of the paint might rub off onto the material but other than that the detail in that head sculpt is just really spot on it's even got a bit of grays there his beard it's done well, even all the wrinkles around his forehead there. The eyes are done really well. It's really, really well, well done. It's really in proportion. So they've done an excellent job with this head sculpt. Show you the back, even look at the ponytail. It's really, really good. And then even the suit, um, you know, down to the belt, love all the detail on the belt, little pockets there, it's really done well. And then there's actually wire running through here, so as you can see, we can get in some crazy poses, pants. Nice material. I like the boots as well. The material on the boots. Um, I like how they don't really bunch up too much or look a bit weird like um, a Han Solo figure around here. I think they got this pretty spot on. And it also allows enough movement in the ankle too. So I'll show you now with the ankle. So as you can see there, you can get a decent amount of movement there especially because he's wearing a boot, a little bit back and forth. And then the knees do bend quite well. And the leg, I can only get it to about there without pushing it too much. And then back, I can't get too much. Can do the splits to about there. Just be careful you don't rip the bottom of his pants. Uh, his arms, you get a fair bit of movement there in the arms. Not too restricted and going back a fair amount too. Can bend the elbow quite nicely. Get a bit of a bit of movement up on the bicep there. And Standard Hot Toys wrist peg, so you do get a bit of movement in the wrists. His waist, 
you don't get you don't get a lot of movement at all and you can't really go forward and back and then obviously with the head area a neck with the sculpted hair you don't want to push it too much but as you can see I can move it a little bit there and going forward and back you can't because obviously the the hair is stopping you and that's basically all the movement you get with Qui-Gon Jinn. So Qui-Gon was the guy that discovered Anakin and started his journey to becoming a Jedi and as a Star Wars fan collecting one six scales for me it's a no-brainer to add this guy to the collection and as you can see there he just looks damn good I mean honestly who wouldn't want this guy I mean Hot Toys have nailed it from the head sculpt to the outfit the accessories I mean the only accessory I can pick on is that grappling hook and maybe just being a little bit concerned with when you're moving the head sculpt around that the hair doesn't uh, damage the outfit but other than that it's a pretty solid product um, and you can see there that head sculpt, I mean, it is spot on. They've really, they've really done an amazing job, Hot Toys. So, well, that wraps up this review. If you're on Facebook, check out Six Scale Club. It's where you can share pics, videos, or just discuss one Six Scales to others. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with the latest videos coming out on the channel. Well, that's it from me. I'll catch you guys next time on the channel. And as always, take care.